Hello, this is Yedira from El Club de las Diosas, and today we are going to be reviewing oh, Il Maquillage for mature skin. So stay tuned and see how it performs. Okay, first things first. You probably have seen a lot of ads about this brand. It's a brand new brand. I think it's only been available for a couple of years. Um, their testament is that it's true to your skin and you take the quiz and it, they're able to match you with your skin tone. So once you place your order, what is interesting is that they also give you a mystery gift. So obviously, if you, if you like free stuff, there you go. That's, that's your intake. But I wanted to make sure that this is the right thing for me. I have a combination skin. And as you can see, I have a, a lot of coloration. Um, within my skin, so, and because I'm a mature person, right, La Madurita, I want to make sure that this is the right blend for my skin, okay? So, today, we're going to be talking about what this going to look like, what came in the box. I want to show you everything, and I want to be as honest as possible with my review. Okay, so, this is the box that it came with, beautiful. Black on the outside, red on the inside. It came with the foundation. Look at this packaging. Beautiful, right? Very, very nice. It also came with my mystery gift. And I am actually uh, want to show you how the packaging looks like for the foundation. It came with a mystery gift, which in this case is their ink liner, which is their black eyeliner with a very fine tip, which I love because it's gonna, you know, help me do my um, cat eye very beautifully, and as well as a card with a little bit more information. So I'm gonna put on my glasses because, you know, las maduritas, you gotta wear your glasses and says, um, number one, apply two pumps to your entire face, jaw, and neckline. Number two, blend out with a brush or sponge. No hands, which is interesting, right? Because you see a lot of people doing it with their hands before. I'm, I'm not a fan of using my fingers. That's why there are brushes and there are tools out there. Number three, wait five minutes for the foundation to set before checking your shade. Hmm. Um, don't match your neck or wrist. They are different tones than your face, which is true, right? But at the end of the day, right, you wanna make sure that as you're matching up, right, it, it, it blends as much as possible. Otherwise, you're gonna have you know, foundation all over. I understand the wrist because the wrist is a little bit different, obviously different color, right? But in terms of your face and your neck, mm, it's debatable, it's debatable. Finish your face with concealer and brush and bronzer and wear for a full week to determine if it's the perfect um, fit for you, right? And then they have instructions on how to return it, which is great. So I'm gonna take note my glasses I'm gonna give it a good shake. It's always good to shake foundations because that's gonna help the product move around and blend really well before you do what you need to do, right? So again, this is the Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation. The color, I gotta put on my glasses again, people. The color is 060, so 60. And it looks like it's a pretty good shade for me. So I'm looking forward to it. It's a pump. Yay. They're catching up. These people are catching up. They got to have um, pumps. I have a little, so I'm going to give it one squirt in here. Actually give it two. Sorry. But this is what it looks like. Consistency is very thick from what I have seen. I'm going to use a Kabuki brush, which is flat. And I'm gonna do my um, my right side. See how it does. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Hmm. Smooth, 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 smooth. Uh, so far, it looks like it's a pretty good shade for me. That's really good coverage. What do you guys think? This is the beauty of recording on 4K. 
you're able to see everything. I prep my face with moisturizer, vitamin C, and primer. Huh, it looks pretty good so far. And I only got a little bit in the brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the half of the nose. Half over here and blend it really well. Because that's the thing, right? You wanna make sure that you're blending your foundation to your skin. Let me just do my eye as well, so that's why. And then I'm going to do half of my forehead. Let me grab a little bit more product. There you go. Now we're talking. Right? So that way I have half of my nose and Ah, what the heck. Let me just do the whole nose and forehead. So far, it blends really well with my skin tone. So I think they nail it in terms of color matching. What do you guys think? Hmm. And without even um, putting it on my neck, as you can see, it matches really well. So if I don't wanna carry over or carry down into my neck, I think it looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side and blend it really well. I'm gonna need a little bit more because I give it about a pump. So I'm gonna do that much. It feels like it's buildable, which is great, right? Uh, this seems like it has a lot of coverage. So definitely it is important to build as you go. If you have, if you want to have a more natural look, obviously, you know, start less is better. Um, for ladies like us, that are in the mature side, it's always good, less is better. Let's, let's just be honest, right? And at the end of the day, you don't need foundation in your entire face. You just need to cover the areas that has that have um, a lot of redness or a lot of imperfections. So it's totally up to you, but I do like a brand like this that um, it helps you build upon, right? That, you know, layers and layers, you can build it. And then you can just figure it out. You want more coverage? Add more. You want less? You know, a bump and a half is okay. So, so far, I really, really like the coverage. It's very, very, it's very lightweight. It's not sticky, which is great when you have combination skin. Um, I, I again, I'm, I'm in love with the coverage and I'm in love with the color. They truly, truly match up my skin. It's it's amazing, which is very hard to do when you do a, an online quiz, right? Because um, that's always your fear. You're never gonna be able. You're sometimes not able to have your perfect shade. In this case, <clears throat> they nail it. They definitely nail it. And look at the coverage. Obviously, I have some imperfections over here and that's what the concealer is for, to cover all that. But um, so far, I'm very pleased. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and then come back 
and see how it looks, okay? Wait that five minutes that they're, they're telling me that I need to set before checking my shade, okay? I'll see you soon. Okay, so I finished my makeup. As you can see, I look fabulous for a mature skin. But anyway, I wanted to show you, I did set it a little bit, just a little bit on my T-zone and on my a little bit on my cheeks. Um, so I can compare with other uh, foundations. It's something that I typically tend to do because again, I have combination skin and it's a little bit different, but so far it feels very, very lightweight, which to me is very important because again, I don't want to feel cakey. I don't want to feel heavy, right? I want to make sure that it blends well with my skin, with my natural oils, and it makes such a big difference. That's why I'm using natural light. I'm not using a ring light, people. Literally, I am in front of a window. So you can see how natural it looks because at the end of the day, we are not going to be carrying lights all over the place, right? This, this is how I'm going to look. Um, the color, again, it is... Um, let me just close it over here. The color is very, very true to my skin. And although they say not to match it with my neck or with my wrist, again, there was no way that this was going to match my wrist, right? But I do want to make sure that it blends with my neck because I don't like carrying over foundation in my neck. There shouldn't be a purpose for it. But I'm just going to do a quick close-up so you can see again. Um, it doesn't have, it has more of a matte finish um, compared to other foundations. And as you can see, it covers really, really well, even around the areas where I am prone to shown more of my pores, right? I use a primer, a very lightweight primer. So everything else, it looks amazing. Now I do have to say, I am trying the liner. Uh, I was able to do my cat eye to the best of my abilities because I'm not a professional. <laughs> I'm a regular person just like you and I. Um, and it felt a little dry. Um, compared to others, when I shake it, I don't, I don't hear a, a little ball that goes click, 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 right? So I don't know if I'm shaking the product or not. But nevertheless, you know, once I got it going, then I was able to do the liner and it's, it looks really good. It was, uh, the application was really uh, easy to do, but so far I'm liking it. So we'll see how it goes throughout the day. I'll show you uh, different poses in different lights so you can see it, okay? So hopefully, you know, this will work for me because I'm looking for the perfect foundation. Hopefully this is it for me. Okay, so it's about 1 p.m. over here Eastern time and I wanted to show you how it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my glasses. Let's see, um, a little bit of a transfer here and here, which is normal for people that wear glasses, right? Don't, Cause I haven't said it, I haven't done anything literally to this because I wanna have a true, honest review on testing this brand, right? And see how it does. So I'm gonna go closer so you could see. It's holding up pretty good. Let's see how it does until the end of the day. So it's about five o'clock today, um, the end of my day. And as you can see, the makeup has stayed on. Um, still a bit shiny, obviously, because I haven't retouched or anything. Um, just a little bit of transfer in there, but it's just because the way my glasses sits on, on my nose. But, um, I think I like it. I think I like it. I give it about eight and a half. Um, very satisfied with this, uh, this skin foundation. So if you have any questions or um, any comments, just leave them below and please subscribe for more. Thanks.